Hello, this is Mr. Stansberry. I'm going to take you through the notes on exploring exponential patterns. At the end of this, you should be able to say I can identify data that grows exponentially, and I can compare the rates of change of linear and exponential data. Okay, so first things first, let's take a look at an arithmetic sequence and a geometric sequence. Okay, so if you'll remember, an arithmetic sequence, we're adding the same thing each time, right? So we're adding 3 here plus 3 to get to 8, 8 plus 3 is 11, so forth and so on. And geometric, we are multiplying by the same number each time. Half times 2 gives us 1, times 2 gives us 2, times 2 gives us 4, so forth and so on. Okay, so what we want to do is, we want, I'm gonna, we're going to take these numbers here and we're going to put those into a, uh, a little chart here. And we're going to have n like number of terms, so like the first term is two, second term is five, third term is eight. Same with the geometric sequence. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna graph these two and take a look and see what they look like, okay? So we're gonna, so the N here, this is basically, this is our X, and the UN is basically our Y, right? So under our X here, uh, we've got one, at one we're at two, and at 2, we're at 5, 3, we're at 8, 4, we're at 11, and then we just keep graphing all these points here. All right, 6, we're up at 17. Okay, now what we can do is we can actually um, create ourselves a nice little, oops, that's not a nice one, we'll create ourselves a nice little line here. That goes through all those points. So if you'll notice, pretty easy to tell that this here makes a nice straight line. So um, our arithmetic se sequence makes a straight line, which we call linear. So, so this is a linear equation. All right, now, if we go off and graph our points on a geometric sequence, we're at 1, we're at 1 half, 2, we're at 1, 3 is at 2, 4 is at 4, 5 is at 8, because we just keep doubling, 6 is at 16. So now if you'll notice this here, this definitely makes a curve. Okay, so this one here is a curved line. So this is n considered to be not linear. Okay, so curved line, not linear, straight line is linear. So an easy way to tell that is an arithmetic sequence. Our arithmetic sequence makes linear and our geometric sequence makes not linear. Okay, so if you're looking at sequence of numbers and it's arithmetic, you know it's linear. If it's geometric, you're multiplying by the same thing over and over, it's not linear. Okay, all right, that's all we have for 21 part one. If you have any further questions on this, please feel free to ask. Thanks.